okay uh, good afternoon to uh, all of you and uh, to, uh, in the last few classes we learned about uh, amplifiers we learned about uh, uh, single stage amplifiers and then uh, subsequently we also saw differential amplifiers in in both of them uh, we, in both those uh, no, topics uh, we saw they were certain uh, current sources which were used to bias the uh, no, uh, circuit okay uh, similarly we use certain uh, dc voltages also to bias those circuits so what are those current sources and uh, how to design those current sources and and how to uh, get those dc voltages required for the biasing uh, that is what uh, we are going to uh, uh, see uh, today okay so uh, uh, if you see here how to generate an uh, dc uh, bias voltage okay so generally uh, we have uh, na, uh, uh, current sources okay id uh, which is uh, independent of uh, temperature uh, and vdd so we will uh, see that particular uh, 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 current source in in our subsequent classes uh, time being uh, we are assuming that we have an current source uh, which gives an uh, uh, absolute uh, uh, current uh, uh, required current uh, which doesn't change with vdd and temperature so if i have that kind of current if i uh, pass it through a mos transistor like this which is connected in a uh, diode configuration uh, so uh, i it will develop some vgs okay uh, and what would be that vgs uh, that will be defined by this equation id equation so in this id equation if you see uh, id is fixed out here right and uh, an, uh, w by l is, is fixed mu and c ox is uh, fixed vtn is also a process parameter which is fixed so i get an uh, ig so uh, if i pass an id out here so i will get a very very uh, stable uh, vgs uh, which i can use for biasing other circuits okay uh, so this is how i generate a constant and a voltage okay uh, now uh, is it understood by all of you till here now what we are trying to do is so uh, this is known as and uh, 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 no, generating a voltage using a diode connected mosfet and a constant current okay uh, so uh, if you see here this is i reference now uh, this is a mosfet i have generated an uh, constant v out here now this v out i can um, use okay this is the v out this voltage i can uh, use it uh, for uh, controlling various na uh, uh, na uh, na uh, giving the bias voltage to various transistors okay and now this voltage how can i vary this voltage from the id equation uh, i id is a variable w by l is also variable so by appropriately uh, selecting uh, id and w by l i can get the uh, desired na uh, voltage right uh, generally if you see here now uh, this id uh, it is getting na uh, dissipated as uh, heat only right this this current the vdd into id that is a power which is just con be consumed so i will try to keep an id as minimum as possible okay in in few micro uh, ohms like on a 10 micro 20 micro because that that current that power will be continuously be uh, dissipated and that is not useful for us okay now, so generally i keep id okay now for different ton uh, vgs uh, i will use a different w by l uh, to get the appropriate uh, uh, vd okay so that is how uh, i do that now when i connect it to different uh, 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 to drive various transistors okay there if there is a current okay this is a voltage source and and if this is driving uh, some load and there is a current uh, then uh, id uh, can be uh, no this this drain current okay is i reference plus i out okay uh, because i out and i reference is coming uh, into this node and id is coming out of this node so uh, by convention uh, by using a kcl at this node i am writing i reference plus i out okay and uh, id equation is uh, w by l by 2 mu and c ox and a v out minus vtn uh, why i am writing v out because vgs is nothing but an v out right so uh, now uh, again uh, putting that in a uh, uh, an, uh, equation out here okay minus i reference if i if i write it like this and and i bring out v out i get this uh, equation for uh, v out so this is the uh, equation 
now uh, in this if you see here uh, i am not going to drive reduce this voltage okay uh, only if i am uh, going to use generally in a vlsi circuit as an biasing voltage to an uh, transistor okay to the gate of a transistor so i out is generally uh, zero if i out is uh, zero uh, so v out will uh, be a uh, more or less constant if you see here right so if i out is zero v out will be vtn plus and uh, root of uh, i ref to w by l so by uh, uh, adjusting w by l i can get uh, v out okay whatever is the desired v out required for biasing of the transistors okay so uh, so this is how an uh, dc voltage source is implemented in uh, vlsi uh, circuits uh, is this uh, okay with all of you okay but i can't i should not use this voltage to bias circuits which is going to consume current okay then this uh, i out also will come in there then the v out will become an uh, dependent on uh, i out so i have i will try and use this voltage okay this kind of circuit in this this voltage i will try and give only to the gates of various transistors so the biasing voltages basically so this this can be used to bias various uh, circuits so uh, this is how dc voltage and uh, uh, sources can be uh, implemented in uh, vlsi okay so this i reference uh, this is an, uh, generally a band gap reference that means uh, we will see the detailed circuitry of that in uh, a post mid sem uh, where how to generate this i references basically i reference will be independent of temperature and vdd uh, variations it will be very very stable i reference okay now uh, considering this small sir, sir uh, I, yeah. I had one doubt hmm. so uh, basically we were, the reason why we are doing this is uh, we are using this as a vgs to the another circuit yes correct biasing voltage okay if if there is if you are connecting another uh, transistor at v out correct so okay. this is a biasing voltage which is generated a constant voltage we might require constant voltages to bias circuits right so that voltage we are generating here okay okay okay, okay. Uh, so if i uh, draw as a small signal uh, equivalent sir. when i am uh, seeing from outside sir yeah uh, one doubt here hmm. i missed a part where you said uh, uh, i we cannot uh, use it to bias uh, some circuit because i out is being changing yeah can you repeat that i uh, missed no, it because of your network issue you generally uh, use this to bias the gate of transistors we will not use this and na ana to bias na uh, uh, circuits wherein ana uh, there is a current requirement from here uh, from this voltage uh, okay so drain and uh, source biasing we don't do but gate biasing we use ha uh, gate biasing we can do gate okay, biasing thank you thank you okay. so uh, so this is the small signal uh, equivalent Uh, so uh, if you see from the output side okay so uh, since you are doing an a uh, gate and id so you will find gm vgs and r0 okay since gm vgs is connected like this it has got an uh, low uh, input impedance and uh, that is the reason uh, i don't connect it to uh, any voltage source and uh, which requires current so i should not uh, do that uh, as long as it's an uh, high impedance thing then then okay the current will flow here and you will get an uh, constant vgs so this is the kind of voltage source right now you can uh, have an uh, instead of an n mos you can have a, a p mos also so uh, again for the p mos this is the reference voltage and uh, which is in uh, sinking into the ground this is the reference current okay i i have uh, vdd here so i again uh, short between the uh, uh, drain and the gate now here also i am connecting drain and the gate okay source is grounded uh, here source is vdd for the p mos and i have this voltage okay again the same current equation applies uh, here also only thing is it is p mos so accordingly uh, vtn becomes v and uh, uh, vtp otherwise it is so you can get a constant voltage uh, from the uh, by using a p mos and a constant uh, reference current also is it okay with all of you what we want to do so these are the kind of constant and uh, voltage sources which we can Uh, sir, sir what is what is used for the in in the previous uh, slide hmm. uh, no no in yeah here here what what are we using for the i reference is it a constant it's a constant current source okay it, it provides no, constant do. current that we will see later on okay okay Now, time being just assume we have got a constant and a current source here also the uh, i reference okay 
basically it doesn't uh, change with temperature and vdd that we will that that itself is a big circuit we'll uh, discuss that later okay so okay. generation of now uh, we have something known as a uh, current mirrors okay uh, generally uh, i have uh, one current reference okay and that is uh, given to an current mirrored circuit okay then the i out uh, will be uh, na, k times i in okay not uh, okay so this uh, the you could have a uh, multiple multiple outputs okay uh, one uh, and and the output currents will be an uh, multiple of this uh, na, uh, input reference currents okay so this is vdd uh, you have an input current coming then you have an current mirror and then you have a uh, multiple outputs uh, each output uh, will be related to the input current and uh, okay it will be an uh, k times okay so uh, k need not be an integer it could be a fraction also so uh, k times the uh, input uh, current will be available so this is the how an current uh, mirror should look like okay and then uh, these two currents should be identical in nature okay because whatever is there you know k times should be uh, available here so it should be a scaled version of it and it should not depend on the vdd uh, which is uh, here okay this current uh, should not be dependent on the vdd which is available here it should solely depend on this input current okay that is how an a good current mirror should uh, work like okay so uh, uh, we will uh, see that how it is done now uh, suppose this is the i reference okay so this is an simple current mirror how it looks like so i have an uh, n mos connected here i have another n mos out here so this is the i reference which is flowing into this n mos so these two transistors are connected like this okay now the gate to source voltage of both these transistors are uh, same so i can write i out is equal to you know 1 by 2 w by l uh, by 2 uh, w by l of 2 into mu n c ox v reference minus vtn and uh, this is again w by l mu and c ox v reference minus so if if i divide these two things uh, assuming that and uh, a uh, vtn okay v reference is this voltage right vgs which is common to both vtn if it is it is same and mu and c ox is same so i get an uh, out out uh, i out uh, is equal to i reference into ratio of these two w by l so uh, suppose this is w by l is 1 this is w l is 2 then uh, twice the current will be available at the uh, output and that output current is not an uh, 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 depend on on the circuit uh, which is which you uh, know this is sinking the current from like like for differential amplifier we saw the uh, source current in the bottom like iss so this is what iss is okay that 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 current which is you know getting into the uh, you know the tail of a differential amplifier okay so this is how first we generate i reference which is very stable and then we can uh, now this current could be just 10 micro okay if i want 100 micro here i i have to keep w if l is constant at both this i have to keep w 100 times okay so i will uh, uh, if it is 10 and uh, 100 I, I have to keep w 10 times higher so if i keep one micro here i keep 10 micro here then i will get 10 times the current uh, is this in a schematic and functioning clear to all of you yes, sir why why is that uh, uh, is in m1 hmm. uh, after i reference uh, hmm. w w the gate and drain uh, i didn't understand why, why there is a line there here the, it started Ha, ha, that one, ha, no, why is that? No, that is how this work circuit diode and then only you will generate an, uh, uh, so this uh, V reference. Okay. Okay. This will uh, work like a diode, only then an uh, ID equation. Otherwise, this is floating gate, right? If you, uh, it, it is a floating gate, you won't generate this voltage proportional to the current. So, this connection is required. Okay. Then this sir, this how, sir, one yeah. question. Yeah. How will we ensure M2 is in saturation? Yes. How will we ensure it is in saturation? M2. Because yeah. you have to give a minimum overdrive voltage here. Any voltage above that won't change the current. Okay. So we have to ensure that this has to be in saturation. That is what when so we uh, learnt about. Uh, we should have a biasing sep in separately. No, this is like in differential amplifier, we saw this, this is going to be the uh, uh, tail transistor, right? So, uh, uh, so you ensure that minimum common mode voltage is available, right? If I let me just go back to that. So, you understand where it is used.
this is this transistor at the bottom right this m3 okay this is providing iss right so then uh, th this we saw right for this to be in saturation minimum cm voltage is given out here do you remember these things which we learned yes, so this yes, m3 this what we are uh, talking about that is the one which is biasing all these transistors mm -hmm. right the, this okay. this which is there in the bottom so uh, that is what uh, we are doing here this is that m3 is m2 here nothing but m2 sir here we will not consider channel uh, uh, channel length modulation impact we, we are going to see that what effect it is going to make okay this is uh, uh, now here we we have made two assumptions first of all there is a adequate voltage available here for this to be in saturation that is one condition second we have neglected channel length modulation okay so uh, these are the two uh, as long as this voltage is above the and a saturation voltage the same current will flow in the ratio given by this and uh, also we are ne neglected channel length modulation okay so so, so sir uh, m2 drain has connected to different potential compared to yeah, m1 yeah. drain right yes doesn't matter vgs is same right so as long as this is in saturation it should not okay, okay. so uh, now uh, if you see here if you if i see the uh, equivalent circuit it will be like this gm and if i consider the channel length and uh, modulation it will be r0 and um, uh, uh, it, it should generally be ratio of w w by l2 divided by w by l1 okay but because of channel length modulation this as the in, in output voltage increase here there will be a small increase in uh, i out uh, which is not desirable okay but this happens in a practical circuit and we will uh, try and learn how to modify the circuit so that uh, r0 uh, so that this current uh, remains constant but in a basic circuit like this there will be a small problem here where i out will uh, slowly uh, increase okay there will be a small increase uh, depending on the voltage available here okay uh, is it okay? is this understood by all of you yeah. okay uh, now i can even have an uh, pmos current source also so this is the i reference uh, this is the pmos i have connected here now if you see uh, between m1 and m2 the gate to source voltages are same okay so the same current will uh, flow here okay provided the w by l ratios are same if the w by l ratios are different then based on that ratio i out and i reference also they will be you know, uh, different okay that, that ratio will be proportional to the ratio of between w by l of m1 and m2 okay so this is how an uh, pmos current source can be uh, implemented okay so this is also done right now uh, see uh, in in a uh, big vlsi circuit i will generate an uh, one v reference okay and then i will i will give it to a, a transistor okay uh, which is reference reference transistor and i will get a v reference and then there will be some hundreds of circuits okay so in every for each hundred uh, of circuits i will not make one i reference circuit okay i reference circuit to generate i reference i will use a band gap reference circuit which is a small circuit in itself independently and after having generated i reference i will pass that into uh, one uh, no, reference transistor so now this voltage is fixed okay uh, because uh, this current is wasted right so i will not keep wasting this part of the circuit for my every circuit so there are if there are three differential uh, uh, amplifiers i can use these three differential amplifiers circuits like this where this is connected to the gate of three transistors okay so i will have uh, three different uh, uh, refer now currents okay biasing currents and all these currents need not be the same they can be different right based on the w by l ratios so uh, each of the output will be defined by the w by l uh, ratios out here so is this okay with all of you right so i reference is a band gap reference circuit which will be there in a full chip there will be only one band gap reference circuit okay and from that i reference stabilized i reference i will put it into one and uh, a reference transistor and i will generate v reference and that v reference i will give it to may hundreds of circuits i can uh, tree and uh, use that okay and only thing is the current requirement of each circuit will be different so accordingly i can just use various w by l's out here okay to generate various 
no, uh, currents in those circuits the biasing currents as per requirement i can do that is it okay with all of you till here okay so if there is any doubt uh, please let me know okay okay uh, similarly uh, if i want to bias from the pmos side also okay so not necessarily i can use this as a constant current source right so suppose i have a uh, cs amplifier and if i use uh, this particular pmos instead of a uh, load resistance what will be the resistance what i see what will be the gain if gm is the gain of the uh, gm is the transconductance of the nmos out here okay let me uh, draw uh, suppose i am using an nmos and i am giving an a uh, small signal out here and and i am giving some uh, dc bias also here right and i am connecting it here okay uh, if if gm is the uh, transconductance what will be the gain of this amplifier can anybody tell me g minus gm into r0 yeah it is a gm okay, into one. if if i see here okay the impedance will be uh, r01 so uh, in fact uh, uh, r whatever is this this r0 also i have to take into parallel correct so that will be the gain now uh, for a, a different transistor if i want a different gain a uh, gm is proportional to the current right so i can give a different current for that particular stage correct isn't it if there is one more uh, one more amplifier here right so different amplifiers yes, yes. might require different currents depending on uh, what is your design requirements so i can uh, use these kind of uh, structures right uh, is it okay with all of you okay uh, sir you uh, can you explain uh, this gm into r0 like gain r0 is yeah yeah gain of a cs amplifier is gm into rd in this case an uh, uh, rd is an uh, Uh, from this node if i see it will be r01 uh, parallel to uh, r0 of this transistor correct okay. so uh, okay. again will be a gm into okay uh, r01 parallel to this r0 whatever is this transistor correct okay 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 actually you know if you understand this uh, small uh, basic things right on um, and uh, analog circuits be will become very very simple you just have to know the equivalent circuit okay this looks very very complicated okay this is nothing but r0 because it is this gate to source voltage is fixed if the gate to source voltage is fixed then the output resistance as seen here uh, will be r0 uh, what will be the output resistance if i see like this from here anybody it is diode connected okay, it will be 1 by gm 1 by gm correct yes right if i connect um, connect make a connection like this it will be 1 by gm okay so these are only the few things which you have to remember And then your all your analog uh, circuits problems will become very very uh, simple okay whether you are looking at 1 by gm or you are looking at 1 by 0 okay and then um, when you are talking about r0 okay in in terms of r0 okay if it is an rd or uh, 1 by gm you can neglect this r0 but if you are talking only about r0 then you should not neglect because this will be almost of the same order right so it will become it will become like uh, uh, almost half of it when it is parallel so if if you are talking about only 1 by gm then you can call it as gm into 1 by whatever gm it is because gm will be if you are talking about rd normal resistance also in that case also you can neglect r0 but if you are talking about r0 here then this r0 which is coming in parallel that also needs to be taken care of okay these are the small things which you have to keep in mind when you are sir yeah. uh, hello yeah yeah tell me sir if there is a drain resistance here hmm. uh above the transistor which you have drawn hmm. then uh, can we neglect this r0 for m1 or do we have to take it no, no, into account to, because uh, r0 r0 is the drain resistance of m1 and r0 uh, r01 i have written r0 is for this so they will they will come in parallel to each other No sir. If we like put a drain resistance, uh, like uh, when we design, we put some bias resistance, right? No. If there is a resistance in the circuit, you have to take care of that also. That also comes in parallel. Okay. Here we don't okay, put sir. any resistance here in this particular circuit. There's no requirement of putting a resistance here, right? This is the output voltage which will be available from here, isn't it? Okay. Okay sir. 
Uh, so uh, now, now if you uh, see here, these are again shown here, right? One I reference, okay. And then if we, this is PMOS, I want to, you uh, know, uh, make uh, this I out. So uh, I have a mirror out here, right? And and again I am passing it here. So I have an uh, uh, this, and uh, similar from here. So this is uh, providing a current like this, right? This is providing a current this. So uh, on each of these branches, as I keep moving, I have to find out, okay? So uh, this current out here in this branch, I out one will be ratio of uh, MR and M1, right? So this is a ratio of W1 by W. Then I out two this this current, okay? That will be ratio between uh, these two or these two, whatever you can call. So uh, this this current again M4 will be depending on the ratio of these two transistors M4 and M4. So you see uh, by using this uh, structures, you can generate uh, uh, several uh, reference currents for different circuits. Okay, so you have to be, uh, you have to know, just you have to see the, you uh, which uh, source, source and uh, 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 drain voltages, you know, what are the transistors which have the uh, uh, same source and drain voltages, then W by L ratios will uh, define the uh, ratio of I out and I references. So these are the uh, kind of circuits which are uh, practically seen in VLSI circuits. Okay, is this uh, circuit clear to all of you? Uh, now how to compute an uh, M4 current? Okay, first I compute I out 1, this ratio, and then second, this ratio, I will take this ratio. First this ratio and then this ratio, then I will get I out 4. Is it clear? Sir, for M, then for M3, like I out 1 is the reference current, then? Yeah, for M4, I out 1 will be the reference current. Okay, so that equivalent to a scaled version of I reference. Mode. Yeah, that could be scaled version of I reference. Right, so these these kind of things can be done. Right now, uh, to generate I reference, I told uh, no, uh, we uh, one simple method like I discussed. I gave a hint in the last class also. Uh, we can uh, do this also. Okay, I have a resistance here, so uh, I reference is equal to VDD minus V out. Okay, uh, and then uh, V out is what VGS minus uh, I V out is VGS in this particular case, right? So uh, uh, ID equation from the ID equation I will get this okay because VGS V out is VGS minus VTN is equal to uh, uh, two mu on C ox W by L uh, uh, right uh, 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 VGS minus VTN square is equal to uh, uh, right uh, this right uh, ID equation from the ID equation uh, so uh, I I uh, I put v VGS minus VTN I, I get a square root and I bring the VTN so I get an uh, V out uh, this here. Now, if you uh, see in this particular uh, equation, right, this is the uh, uh, equation, right, uh, this is an uh, VTN. If I keep W by L very, very uh, large, okay, now if you see generally uh, I reference is around an, uh, 10 uh, micro or something, right, and, uh, uh, mu N is uh, again in the order of an uh, uh, micro, right, and, uh, and, and, and uh, W by L uh, and, and uh, C ox is also now. Uh, uh, <coughs> of, of that order so if you uh, try to uh, keep uh, this value okay w by a large okay then uh, i get i reference is equal to vdd minus vtn by r okay if i keep this transistor just in the uh, saturation so if you see here the reference i reference is a uh, merely a, you know, a function of r so by using different r's i can set different you know, reference currents okay by using uh, this equation okay so uh, but uh, if you see here this is this also has got certain uh, stability of temperature and voltage also right because uh, if you see i am setting i reference okay now if, if vdd increases okay uh, uh, now more uh, current will increase and that will uh, increase increased drop here ir drop so it will decrease vgs so it will uh, try to compensate that okay so the current will is again stable uh, similarly for temperature if the temperature increases okay in cmos the current decreases if the current decreases uh, the drop across here decreases so that will increase vgs so this this has got an uh, inbuilt temperature and vdd uh, variation compensation uh, to a great extent but uh, so it will still make around 10 percent uh, uh, deviation with vdd uh, and uh, temperature but that is not adequate for many vlsi circuits so we are going to study and much more sophisticated circuits you know, to generate I reference in the subsequent classes. But this is a simple circuit where a little bit, if little bit variation uh, is okay with you, then you can uh, make uh, these kind of uh, circuits to generate I reference also. Uh, is it okay with all of you?
right so by using this okay. uh, uh, id equation i can uh, uh, set the value of r to get the uh, desired i reference yeah uh, tell sir, me sir in hmm. current mirror circuit we have used a similar kind of configuration for mosfet right correct and we are using there is one i reference as current source correct so cannot we use this whole structure uh, there means like using vdd and r correct we can what difference that? i am telling i am telling that uh, uh, this is a method of generating i reference this uh, matlab this 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 r and this mos can get replaced here right okay here. yes yes so that okay, only this one. entire thing but this is this this is uh, this is a uh, moderately okay circuit okay is it understood yes yes sir. this is a yes. moderately okay circuit we do have very good circuits which will be very very stable okay for the for which we'll uh, create this i reference which we yeah, are using yeah. in the current mirror Correct. circuit so okay. that okay. will uh, that itself will be one full ana uh, lecture i'll discuss that later on okay okay, okay sir thank you okay. uh so uh, now uh, we have neglected the effect of channel length modulation okay now if i uh, try to uh, consider the channel length modulation also right then uh, i will have an uh, vgs minus vtn vgs minus vtn uh, vt okay vgs is common for both the places but i have lambda vds too okay and, and vds is not common for uh, both the circuits okay but if i am assuming k is constant and vt is constant then i will find that uh, not only uh, no, it is dependent on w by l ratios it is also lambda vds1 and lambda uh, vds2 okay it is also uh, dependent on these things also okay so so there are uh, no, this uh, this is known as uh, some errors which are there in the uh, current mirror and this is there uh, no, uh, uh, not because of any process by design itself is there so it is known as a systematic error by design this will be there we know that okay this kind of error exists in this particular circuit okay so uh, because of this uh, uh, lambda okay vds1 and vds2 is not vds1 is in our hands vds2 depends on various uh, circuits right so so that that error will be uh, there okay so this is a uh, one error vds and vds2 is not the uh, second error could be because of m1 and m2 um, uh, this is systematic error this is known as systematic error okay this is there by this is known as uh, not not systematic but this is a process error like while fabricating m1 and m2 they may not get fabricated uh, exactly with the same and uh, a uh, vt there will be some uh, width variation and things like that then some error will be introduced right some vt variations because of which also currents can change so m1 and m2 are not matched okay that is process variation right so these two issues have to be tackled differently and the solutions for these two problems will be different is it okay till here all of you are you all with me okay so let me uh, say here now if you see this is an on chip there are uh, certain uh, devices which are being uh, fabricated uh, so uh, as you move in the chip there could be uh, some uh, errors uh, generally like uh, this if you see here there is small uh, error in the gate oxide it is 5 nanometer 6 nanometer 7 nanometer and uh, 8 nanometer okay uh, so uh, what i do is uh, when i uh, fabricate uh, this current mirrors uh, i have the reference transistor here right and i i split this transistor into two okay uh, with uh, these are all multi fingers okay you understand what is multi fingers instead of using a uh, uh, gate width uh, of a large i can use a uh, parallel transistors okay so so that that is how generally it is done so uh, so these are all a uh, parallel transistors this whole thing together uh, is the reference transistor uh, this is the mirror transistor n mos okay the, and the mirror transistor i am uh, putting it symmetrically Uh, on both sides of this okay so these two together they will form the mirror transistor this is the reference transistor so you will see this is a 5 and 8 if you take the average you will get 6.5 uh, this the process variation will get 6.5 so whatever is the pro process and uh, uh, small changes which occurs uh, due because of the process that gets eliminated okay so this is known as a common centroid and a design okay this we even do for a uh, differential amplifiers also Uh, okay uh, i'll tell you uh, because of the, the the two input transistors of a di different amplifier also we will do this so that they also have to be matched right when we 
learnt about uh, differential uh, amplifiers, we saw that both the two input transistors, they should be matched with each other perfectly, right? So there also we do central and uh, common centroid designs in those cases also. And also in the case, these two transistors have to be matched in this case, okay? Now this width mean may not be same, okay? So uh, there could be more number of uh, uh, transistors, which is, so the uh, width need, need not be same, but the way they are placed should be uh, symmetrical. So that as you move from one place to other, the whatever is the process na variation which happens within the chip, okay, that gets na, uh, na, uh, cancelled with each other. Okay, uh, is it okay with all of you till here? So, sir, in the, in the center we have the diode connected MOS, the white part. Yes, yes. Only gates are shown here, the rest of the connections we will have to do. So the, the vertical part is the width, yeah, vertically. In, in the below no, diagram. That is length. This step is length and the horizontal one is uh, the width. width. Yes, they are all, they will come yeah. in parallel. Okay, okay so, oh, yes. so same okay. current capability we will get. Yes. <coughs> okay, now uh, you can have this kind of arrangement also, alternate. Okay, uh, this is an, uh, in this is kept uh, two uh, here, two fingers. They are not at the uh, 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 instead of uh, like, uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, you can have an, uh, can, somebody just uh, mute that. Uh, okay, uh, uh, you can have uh, uh, like these are known as uh, fingers of a transistor. Okay, so instead of having a 10 micro on uh, a uh, width transistor. I can have 10 fingers of one micro okay so these will be known as fingers so this is how they can be uh, placed here again so that they are uh, matching they are kept in uh, alternate you have and uh, the uh, so uh, you have the uh, reference transistors as well as so so the number of fingers they also are definitely uh, 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 depends on the ratio also so you could have a more number of uh, uh, transistors going here and here so but this kind of uh, mix and match can be done to now offset the uh, process variation and the uh, 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 errors which come okay uh, this is another arrangement which is done out here uh, it is done in uh, two uh, rows out here okay these they all together uh, uh, are uh, they will be connected in parallel and and then uh, you have these now uh, the uh, this is the uh, reference circuit and these are the uh, 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 load uh, uh, nmos which is shown in blue or you could have uh, these kind of arrangements. So various kinds of arrangements are there. Uh, essentially uh, to uh, try and uh, uh, minimize the errors which come because of uh, process okay, during fabrication. So these are the things. Okay, now remember uh, th these kind of things are also done. You have differential amplifiers, right? Input two transistors like this. Okay, so these two transistors also uh, requires to be matched properly. So in the layout we do these kind of things even for these transistors also. Okay, always it is done like this. So otherwise, uh, uh, the mismatch here uh, can uh, result in common mode amplification, correct? That is what we learned, right? If there is a mismatch, then the common mode uh, gain will deteriorate and overall performance will deteriorate. So that is the reason uh, we do these kind of uh, layout matchings there. So sir, before yeah. the current minute, the before slide, that was the common centroid or interdigitized is something different, right? No, uh, it is a multi finger, okay. So it is uh, known as common centroid only, okay. It is a generic so name, okay. okay. So there that was means the centroid of all these things is here, the centroid of the other transistor is also here, it is spread evenly across the uh, center point. If I draw a vertical line, okay, <laughs> so so uh, all these, these transistors, this is the center line. For the blue one also, this is the central line. So that is where the name comes. Common. Okay. 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 Sir, uh, this manufacturing yeah. problem, uh, like unequality in the uh, formation, is along the length mostly or along the width, or it may be both. It, it, see, uh, it could be both also, that is the reason uh, this particular structure, uh, nah, it is placed like this. Okay. Right? Okay. Uh, here we are assuming, in here we are assuming only process variation in one direction. Uh, here we are taking care in both directions. Right? Right? Uh -huh. See, see, uh, when, I, when I'm moving from here to here, if there is a variation, uh -huh. 
uh, here it will have more here it will have less here it will have it will, it will have more so they get compensated when i'm moving here also it's the same thing it will get compensated okay okay right so okay uh, so some of the current specifications okay a uh, small signal output resistance r0 tell me this should be very high or it should be low it should be high it should be, uh, it should be high. Uh, high right okay if it is low what is going to happen uh, for example uh, if i talk about a differential amplifier uh, what difference is it going to make if it is low uh, what is which parameter is it going to affect the effective gain mm. will reduce not effective gain which gain? transconductance which gain which gain which gain <coughs> common common mode gain right it is going to increase right if r0 is less right isn't it for a differential amplifier rs comes in the denominator if you remember what is the uh, common yes. mode gain formula uh, i am not very sure let me just try if i remember it is gm into na no, rd divided by i think 1 uh, plus rs gm something like this right so rs is in the denominator i'm not very sure i don't remember exactly but something like this so rs is in the denominator if so if rs is low this will go on a high which is undesirable common mode so r0 should be as high as possible okay a minimum output voltage okay so uh, that depends on the overdrive voltage which we give here right uh, so uh, when this this voltage okay this transistor has to be saturation so from here to here it should be a v overdrive minimum okay so that also i have to keep it for a current source i have to keep it as minimum as possible okay i have to design a current mirror which has got this as low as possible this as high as possible and this is the error okay and this error should be as minimum as possible i out minus i ideal divided by i ideal so this should be as minimum as possible okay now we said there are uh, types of error one is uh, systematic error okay that is because of the circuit and one is random error which is because of the uh, process okay so we have to uh, try to uh, reduce both so process variations we discussed okay now we have to discuss about what to do about the a uh, systematic error how we can uh, reduce okay that we will uh, see so uh, this is an uh, transistor out here so now uh, lambda v out okay now we are taking uh, both an uh, lambda into lambda right we are taking into uh, 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 consideration a uh, lambda also the output resistance of the uh, uh, this this resistance is an uh, 1 by an uh, uh, i out correct so uh, if you see here uh, uh, a difference in the voltage i out okay minus i ideal by i na uh, 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 ideal so this is 1 plus lambda v out i out is na ideal is if there is no uh, 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 right uh, resistance okay so so i will get uh, my i have uh, that is 1 by v in this is v in right now v in and v out is not if it is not equal then this equation comes out to be lambda divided by 1 plus lambda v in if i take common so i i get this and and if i uh, lambda is generally 0.0102 uh, v in is also low so this na so so uh, so this is na uh, lambda into v in is very very negligible as compared to 1 so i'll get the error na which is uh, something like this okay v out minus na v in so this needs to be uh, minimized uh, so uh, if v out and v in they are uh, exactly the same then this error will be zero because v in and v in are not same then the error will be okay lambda into v out minus v in okay so this error is given by this formula okay so this we need to uh, take care in our design how to minimize this okay so we'll uh, see how we can uh, uh, try and minimize this in the uh, circuits we'll uh, see that okay so uh, obviously we have to keep uh, lambda as large as possible okay for that uh, as low as possible and a uh, lambda is given by 1 by uh, i out right so if you have an uh, more current an uh, 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 flowing right if if you are uh, having more current flowing then a uh, lambda will be a uh, lower that is one option or the other option is to keep the length of these transistors very very uh, high so in many cases 
okay uh, although in digital circuits we use l as a uh, minimum possible but when you have uh, current sources so we you can have l and uh, say uh, somewhere even on uh, a 5 micro 10 micro also uh, doesn't matter right so you you can keep the uh, length of these transistors uh, high okay so that lambda is uh, lambda is dependent on uh, l also right so so that is the reason uh, we keep generally the length of these transistors very high so that uh, the current doesn't the, so that the channel length modulation is uh, brought to a uh, minimum okay so that is what it is all about sir uh, one doubt yeah can you go to previous slide mm -hmm. sir here what it is the meaning the output resistance of current source is the output resistance of m2 here the current source this is, is the, the m1 source. This is the current source finally. Okay, okay, now, right. So that is right. Yes. Sir, here we can use one resistor to uh, make BDS BDS one equal to BDS two in M two above M two. We can use one resistor, right? No, we will see what we can do. Right? Okay. If you put a, re okay. a, a resistor there, okay, uh, still with changing VD, it will change, right? The current will change, and uh, that will not really uh, help. We'll see there are other techniques what we can do about it. Okay. Uh, so now the uh, uh, current relation, uh, 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 current relationship will be true as long as uh, uh, this is V zero, uh, uh, is in uh, saturation. The second transistor is in uh, saturation. Okay, this has to be in saturation, right? If if you are giving very low voltage here, this is not in saturation. Then this cannot. Uh, so this is a uh, one condition which requires to be. Uh, met okay the gates of the two transistors are connected okay so uh, you will have you should have an uh, uh, vth1 and vth2 uh, same okay that is the second both the threshold voltages uh, should be same okay uh, vo minimum obviously uh, this is what again coming from the first place itself uh, so now if you see here uh, <coughs> so you should if you have a lay low gate voltage dry overdrive voltage so that will give that much more uh, 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 design flexibility in the uh, next stage okay that means if if the low vov should be as low as possible for the next stage correct it will become even more better right the overdrive voltage of this transistor should be low right then then it will be easy for the now uh, amplifier design out here but if, how do I uh, put an uh, uh, VOV if I have to reduce? In the current equation, if you see, na I is proportional to W by L into uh, VOV square. Now, if I have to reduce VOV, okay, I have to increase W by L. Right? Increased W by L, yeah, in, uh, you, know, uh, you have to give a penalty of area okay and also it will uh, uh, give higher capacitance also which at high frequencies uh, uh, will affect your circuit or speed of operation okay so uh, if, if i use large w by l it will uh, help me uh, in uh, reducing the uh, overdrive voltage requirement here for it to keep it in uh, saturation right if i use large w by l right but if i use large w by l the area will increase okay and also uh, at high frequencies it and these capacitance will uh, uh, slow down the circuit but let me tell you for megahertz uh, range of oper uh, operations uh, it is uh, not unusual to keep this very very large okay so uh, transistors of few uh, 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 micro like uh, 50 micro 200 micro is also being used in many circuits so that you keep uh, VOV uh, as minimum as possible <coughs> okay. Uh, is it okay? While no. increasing W by L, you are increasing current, right? No. How you for a given current, w? for a given okay. current requirement, okay, I I can trade W by L and V O V. Is it okay? Uh, but, you can, but but we cannot control. See, if you with respect to that, we cannot control the V O V. V O V is defined by some other circuit. No, the minimum uh, VOV requirement for my current source, uh, no, that I can, we can specify right by gate voltage, right? We can reduce the gate voltage so that uh, you know our VOV also can be in a proper way of limit. No, I can reduce the gate voltage. 
Yes. Yes. Sir. My Vivo V will automatically the scale will improve, right? To make the device in saturation. Yes, that is what I am uh, doing, right? I have to uh, reduce VOV. So the options which the, the current is fixed, right? The current requirement is fixed by the circuit. Now, if the current yes. required is fixed, I have two things. I can have W by L or VOV. So there is a trade-off now available. If current get fixed, right? Whether I should okay. go for in, low, in the, low, low in W by L and high VOV or low VOV and uh, uh, high that that call I need to take. Okay, in in you in in your terms, VO means VGS minus VTH, right? Correct. Or you talking about VDS? VDS is nothing but for to keep it in saturation, VGS minus VTN. That is the minimum. Okay. 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 Because my understanding, uh, VDS is defined by some other. That is a no, yes. drain voltage. Yes. VGS minus VTH. It it makes clear. Okay. Correct. Thank you. Okay. That is the minimum voltage required for okay. this to operate. So. So uh, in that VDS will be VOV. Okay. okay. Is it okay with all uh, of you? Sir. Yeah. Sir, uh, you mentioned like uh, if we increase W by L, it will affect the high frequency. But why we are considering here high frequency? Uh, it is only the current source. Uh, we didn't uh, get any high frequency signals. No. When we uh, talk about an uh, an uh, 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 high frequency uh, circuits, okay. Uh, so they will uh, contribute uh, uh, capacitances at those nodes, okay. Uh, uh, at uh, all of these nodes, didn't we uh, study in in one circuit uh, that uh, 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 this CGD also will uh, act as a capacitance, right? So that that will reduce uh, uh, the RS out here, right? If you remember from our previous uh, discussion. Uh, what will decrease RS? Uh, yes, the resistance as seen into this because this capacitance okay. at high frequencies okay, it will act like a short circuit then. So it is better okay. to have a small capacitor there. Okay, okay, okay. Let me let me revisit that. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. so that. Okay. Uh, now uh, these are uh, uh, some of the things uh, th which we said okay now uh, overdrive voltage and area uh, uh, and speed so these are the things and uh, which we have to uh, compromise uh, the not compromise it's a design requirement so as per your design you have to uh, think what is best for your uh, circuit okay uh, typically overdrive is kept at 0 0.1 to 0 0.4 volts okay that much overdrive voltage is uh, required okay so that we leave at that so that means we keep the VGS more than VTN by 0.1 to 0.4. Okay. Uh, so uh, here now, if you consider uh, this particular uh, circuit, okay. Uh, now suppose I require uh, two times I in. Okay. So uh, one option is to uh, change L instead of W, you change L. But if you change L, lambda will change, right? Then there will be an uh, additional error which will be introduced. Okay. So we will not change L. Okay, we'll always keep L same. To get the ratio, we'll only change W. Is it okay? The first yeah, part okay, is yeah. it okay? Is it okay? Right? Yeah. Because yeah. lambda, like the, if we take channel yeah. length modulation into consideration, uh, we have lambda here. A uh, lambda is a function of L. Okay, so we will keep lambda constant here. Uh, right? We'll try and keep lambda constant. Okay, also lambda is a function of current also. So because of which also there will be small variation in lambda, but it is also a function of length also. So that is why we keep L constant and we just keep an, uh, an W, uh, we vary the W. So that is the one condition. Okay, the second condition is uh, even if you keep uh, only keep uh, a W here and use a transistor like this. Okay, now if you see here, uh, we are keeping uh, twice two W here. Okay, uh, we are keeping uh, two W here and you are keeping a W here. Now suppose delta W is the variation which gets uh, 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 induced into the uh, while fabrication. So on top you have 2W plus W, you have L plus W, uh, L plus delta L. This is again the uh, process variation and suppose here also in the bottom one also you will get L plus W and here also you get W plus uh, uh, delta W. So if you see here this is again uh, not equal to uh, 2. So a better option is uh, to have two parallel transistors here. Uh, if you do that, uh, then it will become on top. These are two parallel transistors and, and each of these two transistors, if they get affected by 2W, 
then I can take these two common so it will become W plus and this will become L plus W delta uh, L W plus delta W L plus W so this will give an, a better matching so uh, instead of uh, using here uh, one particular transistor if you uh, split it into an, uh, two that is uh, better and that is what we actually uh, did it in the uh, layout also if you see here it is uh, split it into two and uh, uh, placed and uh, uh, close to each other uh, here also so that is what uh, we did so uh, is this uh, justification uh, okay with all of you sir in this case uh, yeah uh, m2 and m3 will be having a similar width right yeah as m1 yes no not necessarily so, I mean yeah yeah in this case because we are uh, talking about one is to two if it is one is to four then uh, both will be having a twice Okay. The current is one. So is two this. Yes. So if, uh, for example, M two is two, uh, uh, M two is W. Hmm. So M two here in the, uh, I mean, uh, lower diagram, M two will be W and M three will also be a W. Yes. Okay. okay. So uh, these are the things which we do. Okay. Uh, now uh, estimation of this, I think, uh, we already uh, did. Like, like, you know, uh, uh, because of, you know, uh, uh, lambda variation also, okay, uh, uh, although, you know, V out and uh, V in, okay, so th this can uh, result in up to, you know, 5% uh, change in the currents, okay, uh, E, E can result in 5%, which is very, very large for many of the critical analog circuits, okay. Uh, because uh, this 5% variation is also not acceptable in many uh, analog applications. So we have to try and uh, minimize this variation. So that's why uh, one of the circuits uh, which does the, that is this. Okay. Uh, what is uh, done here is now you have uh, two transistors out here. So the output impedance as you seen from here. Okay. What would be the output impedance? This derivation we did earlier also, right? Now suppose I am applying a voltage out here, uh, delta V T uh, for here, right? Uh, this is R04, and this is a GM into VGS. Okay, so this is the GS4, right? This this voltage, right? And then this is a VGS of this transistor, and but uh, this since uh, here you are applying and uh, you are you are trying to find out the output. An uh, impedance, so you are applying a voltage here, so this will not be there, right? So because it is VGS is considered to be zero, so I just have uh, R zero, right? And what is the uh, current flowing uh, into uh, R zero here? Okay, uh, this is one current, which is uh, GM one into uh, uh, th this IT is some total of these two currents. So this is a GM VA, you know, uh, uh, V the the current in this is now uh, VT minus R zero four uh, minus VS four. By R04, this current. Right? This current is this. Right? This is the current IT out here. Right? This current, this current plus this current. Uh, this, this current we have taken care of. Oh, sorry. This, this is this current. Now, this current. That is GM into uh, VGS4. And uh, what is VGS? That is this, this current. This total IT itself. IT is coming through you know, uh, R02. So uh, IT into uh, uh, R04 into uh, uh, GMVGS. So this is the current, right? Is this equation clear to all of you? That me. Uh, uh, I explain uh, once more. Yeah, yeah. I'll do that. Uh, okay. Uh, my question is here. M2 is a common source amplifier, or M4 is a common source amplifier? Because if I take uh, M2 as a common source just amplifier, just give me M4. Thirty seconds. Okay. Yeah. Let. Yeah. Tell me. If I consider M2 is a common source amplifier, M4 will become my load. If I consider M4 as a common source amplifier, M2 will become like RS. No. Uh, which way we are considering this? We are talking about. We are now not talking about uh, this as an amplifier. We are trying to find out if there is a voltage change at this particular point Q. Okay, will the current change? So I am trying to find out what would be, is the output uh, uh, resistance. Okay, if current uh, if Q is changing, my current will not depending on Q, right? My current is just depending on WL ratio and gate voltage. No, that is if there is no channel length modulation. But if there is a channel length modulation, 
then it will change right yes ha huh? then if what, by what then amount will it change that is what i am trying to derive okay okay Thank okay you. yeah yeah some uh, let me uh, uh, explain this uh, derivation once again what i am trying to do is okay initially let me go here here in this circuit if i change v out okay the current will change here right because it has got channel length modulation what is the output resistance r0 that means for delta v out okay uh, is equal to r0 into delta v uh, i0 right the current will change you know by an uh, ratio given by delta v out divided by r0 because as i look into this circuit r0 is the net resistance which i will see now i have to find out in this particular circuit you know what is r0 so uh, let me take so i have put a voltage source out here okay and i am trying to change this voltage and see what will be the current change it so this is the cause this is the effect now i have to find out okay now this current uh, okay now so i have i am doing an na analysis small signal analysis so all these na uh, uh, this is going to be grounded here right because this is constant so this is a constant voltage so i have grounded this voltage is constant out here for this particular transistor so this vm gs can i delete this is it okay with you can i delete this there will be no current no current source here right because vgs is zero right for yes. small signal everybody yes. is clear about this yes. much okay but so there is some current what is the current flowing in r0 it because this path is not there the current flowing here is it right for this transistor there is vgs because uh, this i am applying a voltage here and this voltage is also changing here so this current source will be there this resistance is also there now i try to write the equation now it is these two currents okay so the current from into r04 will be given by vt minus vs4 this voltage divided by r04 is this much clear to all of you yeah tambi komal is it okay till here yes sir yes sir yeah okay now uh, what is the current vgs4 G this is current source right gm into vgs4 so gm i write it as as it is okay why have i put a negative sign here because uh, this is higher this is ground here right so and that is why this negative has come here and what is the voltage at the source uh, at the source it is this voltage vt and vt is nothing but it into r02 so i have put it into r02 and uh, why this negative has come is this clear to all of you till here yes sir okay now now it is just an, a manipulating i am getting an, uh, these terms uh, here uh, it is there i have taken it common so 1 plus gm4 and uh, this is vt minus it divided by uh, r04 right and uh, finally uh, again i am getting uh, this term also uh, here i am uh, putting uh, vt by it from this equation so i get this value okay now uh, if you uh, see here this is r04 plus r02 plus gm into r04 into r02 right so obviously this middle term r0 gm4 into r02 into r04 uh, this is the uh, no very very significant as compared to simple r02 and r04 because there is a product out here right so uh, if you see here uh, if this is in uh, uh, this will be generally of of the order of 100k this will also be in the okay so you know 100k uh, gm is ar ar around uh, 10 milli or, or uh, 100 milli something of that order if you keep that so you will find it this you know particular thing is very very high so that means now this this current you uh, know uh, uh, mirror uh, will be uh, much better than the earlier because i have very large output resistance so it will uh, not uh, change with v0 so is this a better uh, circuit as compared to the previous one Yes, Vishwanath, Komal. Yes, sir. But yeah. here, then we will have less headroom, right? Yes, Because exactly, we... exactly. So this will have an uh, issue of uh, lesser uh, headroom. So let's uh, compute what would be the uh, headroom penalty which we have to pay. Okay. Uh, so the uh, headroom penalty which uh, we are going to uh, pay out here is okay. Uh, uh, see uh, what is an uh, V X. Uh, Vx will be okay. Uh, 
uh, is equal to vy correct and uh, uh, it is vth plus v overdrive correct overdrive voltage also has to be there plus the vgs will be there so this is this is going to be vx and uh, vy they are going to remain uh, same in this particular case right so they are going to be an uh, 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 vth plus v overdrive uh, is this much uh, okay with all of you is this equation uh, clear right this voltage is this voltage this voltage is what right v overdrive plus v v overdrive plus threshold voltage right so so you get an uh, a vx now uh, what about an v uh, gs3 from here to here again it has to be v overdrive plus an uh, vth okay this also has to cater for that that means what is uh, this voltage available here okay that is this this source voltage which was there plus this uh, no, vgs plus vth so if you if i try to uh, add this and this i'll get 2 vth plus v overdrive so that is the uh, minimum voltage which is available uh, which, which has to be there at vb right and hence if if this is there from uh, here to here uh, i i can have i can uh, <coughs> Uh, I, I <coughs> from here to here again and I can have a one VTH drop right for this to be in saturation so one PA one more VTH goes so this is the minimum voltage which is uh, available which should be there to drive this uh, 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 to keep uh, this in the uh, saturation so if you see here the penalty initially it was uh, just VOV now because of this circuit it is VTH plus 2 VOV so this is a big penalty but the resistance has gone uh, multiple times higher uh, is this equa is this derivation uh, okay with all of you right so if you see here okay uh, this is from uh, uh, this is x v x is v y uh, uh, this is same as this and which is equal to v x is you can write as v t h plus v o v right threshold voltage plus overdrive voltage where does the overdrive voltage come from that depends on the current requirement right so v overdrive right plus so that is the voltage here now from here to here again it should have vth plus vov so one more vth plus vov here it is a vth plus vov again here vth plus vov so two vth plus two vov is the minimum voltage which is required here right and from here to here right you you can have for uh, when this transistor is in the edge of the saturation then you will have one vt drop here right so that one vt you can uh, reduce from two vt you can allow one vt drop here for this to be saturation right that is what the pinch off what is pinch off between the gate and the drain there will be one threshold voltage so you remove that one threshold voltage from here so you get a single threshold voltage but two vov so this is the minimum most voltage which is required uh, for this transistor to be in uh, uh, saturation right right is it okay with all of you sir how one vth is removed can you uh, explain again uh, what is the minimum voltage required at vx uh where sir vx vx it's a uh, vov plus vth vov plus vth correct vth uh. is for switching on this transistor and uh, hmm. vov is to support this current current okay correct hmm. so a uh, vx is vth plus vov so that is the source voltage here right what about this transistor both these transistors are exactly the same okay uh, okay these are going to be matched so uh, what about uh. this transistor what is the voltage uh, on a, uh, between the gate and source it it has to be vth uh, plus vov uh -huh. right correct so this correct. voltage will be this vth plus which is already there plus another vth plus vov so this comes out to be a uh, 2 vth plus 2 vov ah uh, correct okay right now if this is 2 vh plus vov okay what should be this minus 1 vt for minimum voltage for this to be in saturation uh, uh, can you tell again sir what you have done here Nay. How VT one VTH you have removed? Nay. What is the condition for saturation? Like this, right? Ah, correct. Gate voltage. This should be VT, right? When it becomes correct. 
when this is increasing this will keep decreasing and finally when it comes this difference becomes vt it will get into saturation okay okay okay, okay. gate to drain it's uh, yeah okay. gate to drain one vt it will be in saturation yeah yeah okay. that is same and you can look at you know, this is one way of looking at it that the drain voltage uh, no, uh, should be uh, no, uh, more than one vt if it is more than one vt drop then it will not be in saturation so minimum permitted mm -hmm. is v gate minus v rt mm -hmm. correct okay that okay. way also you can look at it okay yeah. so uh, is it okay so now this circuit has got this particular uh, problem so uh, in the next class uh, we will uh, no, uh, take on uh, how to uh, make a better circuit and uh, 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 this particular circuit is uh, we have achieved one target of increasing the uh, resistance uh, no, but to a great extent okay but this uh, we uh, paid and penalty for that this right now in the next class we will try and uh, reduce this by modifying the circuit further is it okay with all of you Okay, so uh, let's sir. yeah tell me. So, sorry, friends. Okay, uh, if it is okay, can you please go back to the previous slide and explain why that BGS two is zero? If it's okay. yeah, it is always fine because unless you ask doubts, you'll uh, uh, these things these doubts might be there with uh, a lot. Of, what uh, here? What I am trying to do is, uh, I am trying to uh, find out if there is a going to be an uh, current variation if there is a change in voltage out here okay so i am keeping these voltages constant so in ac analysis okay these voltages are constant okay i am only uh, seeing about an, a small decrement uh, in, until change out here right so vgs is going to be uh, constant in a small signal uh, analysis and that is why uh, vg i am going to put a ground here i am going to put a ground here so because are all, these are all uh, DC potentials which are not changing. Now I am only changing an, uh, Q voltage out here. Right. So this is constant and that is the reason I have uh, removed this uh, V. Uh, whereas uh, this voltage, this is ground here. It's a constant voltage here. Here it is not a constant voltage here. So I am not removing this current source. Is it okay? Yes. Thank you. Okay. I'm, I'm just in a, uh, Sir, one now. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, so in that in that last light for the output resistance, so you mean like we have less resistance and that's why the current is changing, is varying too much? Where? Ah, in this light. In this? The R0 is equal to GM4 R0 to the whole square rate, the final formula. Correct. So in this you mean the resistance is less here, so that's why we no, have no, a change in current? No, no, the resistance has gone very high here. Okay. It is square R01. Okay. Right? It, it, it is. Okay. Uh, if you see here, okay, if I give an, uh, some uh, realistic uh, uh, figures, okay, uh, let me do that. Sir, here it should be R04 into R02, right? Yeah, I am assuming these the transistors are same. Are same, same. Yeah. Okay. Right, GM is generally okay. Uh, when we do all the uh, numericals and all, you will uh, see it is around an a, a, a two hundred and a milli or something like that of that order. Okay, uh, or, or now uh, R zero is generally of an a hundred k, two hundred k. Right. So uh, if you see here, two hundred k uh, into or two hundred k uh, into GM. Right. So this and uh, this gets an a uh, cancel k and milli. So uh, initially I had just two hundred k. Now I have 200k into this 200 uh, into 200, so it, it is very very large, right? Right, the output resistance. Yes, sir. Yeah, so that is what I am achieving here. Large resistance. What does it mean? Large resistance. Okay, delta I zero uh, will be delta V zero divided by the R. Right. If I have very very large resistance. Uh, for any output voltage change okay this will uh, remain uh, there will be only a small change in current okay and that is very very important for us because on all differential amplifiers and things like that we don't want this current to change because that that will upset the biasing conditions and also it will uh, result in common mode gains and things like that 
so that is why we design circuits like this which has got a uh, very large resistance is it okay and the term plus 2r02 has been ignored right yeah uh, here if you see this is an r04 okay plus if i open the bracket gm r02 r04 plus r02 so uh, since this is a product i am neglecting these two terms and i'm assuming mm. these two trans yeah. these two transistors are right and uh, they are in the same um, they are matched so i am just using r02 r02 and r04 are the same one and the same is it okay yes sir yeah okay yes sir Yeah, okay so uh, let me uh, start so uh, what i have done is i have just uh, mm, uh, I, i am giving an uh, fixed voltage out here okay and i'm just trying to change the voltage out here i'm trying to see whether the current uh, change or not okay uh, here i have given an uh, both an uh, l uh, same uh, same values okay uh, uh, like an uh, l and w as uh, l so initially i am giving 400 400 nano Uh, and then i am uh, i am uh, increasing it to 4000 4000 nano in one go and uh, trying to uh, see what happens right so let me uh, plot the current out here so uh, this is the plot which i am getting so trace options no view step legend okay so the green one is an uh, uh, 400 a nano okay and the upper one is uh, 400 a uh, micro so if you just uh, uh, consider the slope out here uh, which is uh, which is a better thing blue one right blue one yeah blue. so that is a uh, 4 micro and and the green one uh, since i am using lesser length it has got greater channel length modulation out here right now uh, see uh, when we do this kind of analysis uh, we miss out some minor details okay uh, which uh, if you analyze that uh, your concepts will be further uh, clear uh, here if i see i have kept the w by l same in both the cases uh, but uh, here i i find the current is slightly increased right if the w by l is 1 1 is to 1 in both the cases but here the current has increased okay what could be the reason because there is a uh, vth variation okay uh, because this is known as an a uh, narrow width effects so we learnt about uh, short channel uh, effects so what uh, short channel uh, do uh, here if you see here uh, the width was only uh, 400 uh, initially okay uh, here the width is 4 micro so with increase in uh, uh, width right the a uh, threshold voltage has uh, slightly decreased so i get a small uh, difference in current and uh, not very large it it is just enough from 9 to 12 micro okay so so uh, these kind of effects also uh, do happen okay so you have to uh, when you analyze such kind of graphs uh, no, don't neglect any effect so just go through some of the papers and try to analyze this difference also but nevertheless one thing is very very clear if you increase the length i get an uh, high r0 because this is almost a parallel line whereas this has got an, a big slope out here right so the variation of current with length okay if i use a larger length i get a better r0 that is very very uh, clear in this uh, circuit correct so uh, let me uh, close this let me uh, open up something different which i made out here okay now uh, these are the uh, two uh, no, uh, circuits okay uh, uh, here uh, let me uh, first run this if you if you see here it is an uh, length is 1 micro width is 2 micro uh, here length is 1 micro uh, width is an uh, variable which i have given uh, so if i uh, run and then uh, plot the uh, i think plot the current i have to plot the current so if i uh, plot the current out here 
so uh, if you find here let me uh, cut this unwanted thing right now these are the uh, currents so as i keep increasing the uh, width of the transistor i will find that the uh, current is increasing in the uh, same uh, ratio so if i uh, put the uh, legend out here step legend so uh, this is run 5 10 micro uh, 2 micro since i have set 20 micro uh, here uh, this is uh, 20 micro right uh, this is 20 micro here so uh, this is an uh, and, and uh, this is 2 micro so uh, uh, here if it is the bottom one most is uh, 2 micro so i get uh, close to 20 uh, then if i increase it uh, if i double it i get 40 micro then 60 micro 80 micro 100 micro so by changing uh, the ratio of uh, uh, w uh, i get an uh, uh, better uh, currents like this okay whatever required current okay now let me yeah tell me uh, in this actually the one which is having the 10 micro width is showing a higher channel length modulation effect right? uh, uh, here right yes. yeah the uh, the topmost one yes. uh, any reason sir because length is remaining a constant right? yes so uh, uh, why is it showing uh, what is the formula of R0 uh, VA divided by ID right Yes. R0 is VA divided by ID? Early voltage by ID. Yeah. Correct. So, uh, 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 I0 is increasing, right? Here. So, this has got an okay. uh, greater. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, good that you asked. So, you can see that effect also. Correct? Okay. So, so uh, you have to have a, a keen sense of uh, observation when you are doing simulations. Then you will uh, learn uh, quite a so uh, let me uh, do one thing i have now two circuits okay out here okay uh, so uh, here i have uh, i have to achieve say 100 micro so i am putting uh, two micro here and and five here so i will keep uh, this as five micro uh, so so i'll get 100 here uh, here i am putting it as uh, 50 so this is two micro and this i keep it as four micro so there are uh, two different combinations for the same thing so uh, what will be the relative advantage and disadvantage you now whether this is better or this is better so let's uh, try and uh, analyze that okay uh, so uh, this is the current uh, uh, here and uh, this is let me uh, plot the uh, current out here right so now uh, this is this is showing 100 this is showing just 40 why is it showing 40 or uh, 2 or uh, 5 times so i have to put okay i have to put this as 10 micro okay if i run here right now uh, from this waveforms can you uh, infer something one one is blue one is green what can you uh, infer one is entering early to the saturation yes exactly right the saturation, green, saturation green yeah, yeah, yeah in the green one in the green one uh, green one requires larger voltage to get into mm -hmm. uh, saturation exactly so uh, the green one is this so this is not really uh, beneficial right uh, so uh, it is better to have an, an uh, lower current and an, a higher ratio out here that is a better option and also there is one more drawback here also this 50 micro current is of not used to us it is just an, uh, 1.8 into 50 is getting an, uh, wasted this power so it is better to keep this as low as possible right so there are uh, two aspects to this uh, one an, uh, 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 overdrive voltage here, here it requires an, uh, greater overdrive voltage uh, here it requires lesser overdrive voltage and also this current uh, this power consumption in this particular vertical path is is not actually uh, required for us circuit right so it, this is more wastage of power here lesser uh, wastage of uh, power here so this is the uh, benefit okay uh, so with that we'll uh, stop it here for today